Welcome to the Orchestra Team's Drupal Basics series. This video will go over what a block is and how to modify it. This video is intended to supplement a second part about how to new, add new blocks and administer block settings. You can check out that video by clicking on the link in the video now or the link at the end of this video. First, in order to do any of the stuff I'm about to show you, you have to be logged on as a site admin or someone with access to the blocks interface. As you can see here on our test site, Portland Community Media, I'm logged in as the administrative user PCM train. Before we get started, it's a good idea to talk a little bit about what a block is. A block is a way of placing content on a page that's not directly related to the node that you're viewing or editing. This means the content can be reused on multiple pages or displayed dynamically based on the content or context of the current node. Blocks can hold almost any kind of content and are arranged on a page via a drag and drop interface. You get to this interface by going to pcm.orchestrateam.com slash admin. From the admin page, you can navigate through site building to blocks. Here you're presented with an overlay of the blocks on your current site. Now, you're probably thinking this looks a bit messy and cluttered at first, and based on the theme you're using and the design you've created, it probably looks different than what you're seeing here. But you can see that each page is divided into regions with various blocks. So here we have the header first region, the header last region, prefix first, prefix middle, prefix last, content top, sidebar, postscripts, and footers. Also, the white area in the middle page here gives us a list of the blocks and the particular regions that they're assigned to. In order to move blocks of content around on your site, you have to assign them to a region, enable them, and then save the block layout. Let's do this with the block powered by Drupal for illustration. First, let me open a test page that we can see. This is a test page that shows what the site looks like currently. I'm intending to edit the footer, so I'm just going to scroll to the bottom so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, the Powered by Drupal block is just a badge that we're going to insert into our site footer region. I do this by grabbing the drop down underneath region and saying where I want it. I'm going to put it in this case in footer last. You'll see it jumps up to the footer last region area, and I'm going to drag it to be below the other block that we have in that area. Once we've got everything where we want it, we click the save blocks. Once the page reloads, you'll see that the block settings have been updated. We can now go to that same testing page by opening up a new tab. And when we scroll to the bottom, we'll see that the Powered by Drupal badge appears here underneath the footer last area. You can see that on our original testing page that this block isn't there. Now this corresponds to this particular region in the footer last. And in our overlay, we can see a preview of where that block gets displayed. Now, we can move this block wherever we want. It doesn't have to stay exactly where it is. Well, let's go ahead and drop it into one of the postscript areas. Now, if we load the page a third time, we can see that our block has moved. Now we can add, change, and rearrange any blocks in the regions defined by our site theme. Just be careful, as changing the blocks used in their order will change the behavior of your entire site. Thanks for taking a look at our video. For, inform for more information on blocks, check out the second video on the topic in the link on the video now. Also, if you have any questions, please visit our website at www.orchestrateam.com or email us at info at Have a great one.